Hi everyone, if you or your family member has had a recent hip or knee surgery, then this video is for you. I am Dr. Suhas Raj, Consultant Interventional Cardiologist at Rashtratana Hospital, Bangalore. So the topic for today's discussion is pulmonary embolism. So what is pulmonary embolism? If you just ask generally, whenever there's a blood vessel blockage in, of the heart, we call it as heart attack. If the same blockage occurs in the blood vessel of the brain, we call it a stroke. And if the blood vessel gets blocked, supply to the lungs gets blocked, then we call it as pulmonary embolism or you can, you can take it as lung attack also. So when does this usually happen? Usually as I told you at the starting of the video, if there is a recent hip or a knee surgery and if the patient is immobilized, that is they are not moving, they are bedridden for quite a period of time or after a road traffic accident or any form of immobilization for a sickness also, then there is a restricted flow of return of blood from the legs to the heart and in that area in the legs there is a tendency for clot formation and when this clot gets dislodged from the leg it can come back into the heart and go to the blood vessels of the lung and when this gets blocked the blood supply to the lung decreases this is what we call as pulmonary embolism 